Open and close limit switches. Today we are going to discuss our AS series electric spring return actuators. Our objectives in this episode are to learn how to wire an AS series actuator and set the open and close limit switches. The tools you'll need in this presentation are a 5 and 64 inch Allen wrench to set the limit switches, a 1 8 inch flathead screwdriver to make electrical connections, and you'll need a 1 and 1 8 inch open end wrench to adjust the spring end torque and mechanical stop. A wiring diagram and an installation and operating manual are shipped with every AS series actuator. It is recommended that you read the manual before starting your setup procedure. A standard actuator requires three wires for operation, a neutral and two hot leads. A neutral is connected to the terminal position number one. A hot lead to terminal position number two is used to open the actuator and a hot lead connected to terminal position number three is used to close the actuator. To set the open position, apply power to terminals one and two. The actuator output shaft will start to rotate counterclockwise and begin to compress a spring pack. When the actuator reaches the open position, the limit switch changes state and de-energizes the motor while at the same time energizing the motor brake. The actuator will stay in this position as long as there is power to the actuator. Now let's see if the actuator has reached the desired position. As you can see, the actuator has not reached the desired position. Let's adjust the limit switch. Using the 5 64 inch Allen wrench, loosen the set screw securing the top cam to the motor shaft. Rotate the cam clockwise slightly. The motor will now begin to run. By making small incremental adjustments to the cam, you will be able to position the actuator exactly where you want it. When you are satisfied with the position, secure the set screw on the shaft. To set the close position, apply power to terminals one and three and the actuator will begin to run in the clockwise direction. When the actuator reaches the close position, the limit switch changes state and de-energizes the motor while energizing the brake. The brake is energized in the closed position as well as in the open position because there is a slight difference between the operating closed position and the fail upon loss of power position. This is done to assure that during normal operation, the actuator is not driven into the mechanical stop. Using the 1 and 1 8 inch open end wrench, loosen the jam nut on the mechanical stop and back the screw out several turns. This is done so that while setting the closed position, you do not inadvertently run the actuator into the mechanical stop. Using the 5 64 inch Allen wrench, loosen the set screw securing the bottom cam to the output shaft and rotate it slightly clockwise. Rotate the cam counterclockwise slightly. The motor will begin to run and by making small incremental movements of the cam, you will be able to position the actuator to the exact desired position. When satisfied, secure the cam to the shaft by tightening the set screw. With the power on, rotate the mechanical stop screw clockwise until it stops and then back it out one full turn. Hold the screw so it does not move and using the 1 and 1 8 inch open end wrench, tighten the jam nut. This is done so that during normal operation, the actuator does not drive into the mechanical stop. If you have further questions, please contact us at 859-727-7890.